Hello, hello, beautiful people. Hi, how are you? Today I'm going to try out this brand that I actually called out a few weeks ago because I didn't like what I saw online, so I had to say my point of view, you know? They were taking advantage of small creators and I got mad. So I called them out and uh, look at me now. A few weeks later, stupid me, I felt under their spell, I guess, because I kept seeing their videos on TikTok, on Instagram, and I said, you know what, let, let me just, th th this can be that good. So I went and I bought four eyeshadows, and y you don't want to know how expensive that was to get to me. Anyway. I'm talking about Hidden Cosmetics, right? Hidden Cosmetics. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to do in today's video. I'm going to try out their stuff to see for myself if it's that good. Because in their videos, their eyeshadows look Stunning. So yeah, I want <laughs> I wanted to try uh, them for myself to see and uh, I feel like I'm not ready because I got mad For how expensive this was like I only got four eyeshadows Four eyeshadows. Anyway, if you guys want to see me trying these uh, multi chrome eyeshadow pigment whatever uh, and hearing my opinions and my thoughts about them let's get into it I guess I'm excited I know you can't tell but I'm so no I'm not excited I'm not excited and you know why it's because I paid so damn much I haven't even opened this because I was so mad the other day when I was to my Correos to get this package because bitch on top of how expensive these eyeshadows are I still had to pay for shipping because you know I had to pay for shipping because they came from UK and on top of that I had to pay custom taxes <laughs> love that for me so that was uh, very exciting for me you have no idea I feel like in total I paid almost 100 euros for four eyeshadows. That's freaking insane because these are not packed in gold or they don't are made from gold. <laughs> but as I said, stupid me because I feel stupid at this point because I'm investing this much money in four eyeshadows. And here I am, so yeah, let's do this. Um, let's bring the good energy, because I have high hopes. As I said, in their videos, these look freaking stunning. So this is their card. You see, like I only have four items in here. No regalos, no nada. Like they could have included like a little gift in there to, you know, to make me happy but yeah no gifts included with this brand this is a uh, so I, I don't have scared my boyfriend he scared me so it says here what I bought I guess this is the list this is a uh, magic multi chrome liquid eyeshadow I got this in bonbon this was 20 something euro let me just check. No, this is hidden. Hidden. That was my neighbor. He's moving chairs. Anyway, this was 19.99 and this is from their holiday collection. The plastic feels very like it has weight. It feels high end kind of. Okay? Then I got three no i got two multi chrome pigments one in royalty it doesn't say the name and the other one in karma 
and then I got a foil pigment in the shade Fantasy and by the way they now have a collection called Euphoria okay let me just open them like the package the packaging is really cute not gonna lie okay it's really cute I love this black and rose gold writing like it's cute don't get me wrong but this doesn't justify the prices I mean <sighs> you guys see how tiny this is like it has I don't even know like three grams or something oh my goodness I'm getting so upset like it doesn't says anything what the f made in the UK I guess that's why is this expensive but you see the size of this I don't know what my neighbor is doing but I hope he's okay you get one gram of product and this little jar has five grams moving on with this unboxing <laughs> this is in the shade it doesn't even have the shade on it what shade is this oh my goodness it doesn't have the name like what 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 this supposed to be fantasy the foil pigment if i'm not wrong because it looks more like champagne -y color <laughs> yeah this doesn't have the name on this one it says karma I don't know what to say. I'm get, I'm get, uh, yeah, on this one it says reality. Ru, ru, I can't say that for some reason. Oh, we have some glitter. We have some glitter. Anyway, so I'm going to apply them on my eyes. Because I am so... You, so that, that was it. This is all I got. This is all. This is all I got. Almost 100 euros, as I said. <laughs> Crying in rich. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I wish at least they were sent to me because it would have been a little bit different. But since I paid for these items, oh my goodness, I, I, I don't, I don't want to think about it. Anyway, so where do I start? I don't know. Should I just use concealer on one of my eyes and primer, gl glitter primer on the other eye because... Oh my goodness, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use concealer on one of my eyes. And uh, this Kaima Cosmetics or maybe this NYX. Yeah, I'm going to use the NYX one. Because it's more popular. More people have this. So I'm going to gently... Okay, the packaging looks interesting. I haven't seen this type of packaging before. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks beautiful with this diamond shape and also it has like a secure cap so you don't spill product everywhere <gasps> yeah so it has like a little hole i don't know if you guys can see that wow it looks pretty dark in there <laughs> so it looks like this uh i guess i'm going to take some of the product out like i don't want to dip any brush in there so i put a little bit of product in here because i don't want to waste it because <laughs> i have only one gram uh it looks beautiful it looks beautiful this one i think is my favorite and let's see this liquid one because i haven't opened it so it looks like this very cute very icy like Smells like yogurt. Mm. Definitely smells like yogurt. Wow. You guys, this is beautiful. Wow, I'm seeing the shift. And it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the golden shift. And I'm using the Seishado Concealer. This is in the shade Light. I'm going to use a little bit and I'm not gonna set this with powder. Wow, you see that? Looks beautiful. 
So I'm going to use my trusty brushes from Wet n Wild flat brush and I'm going to start with Royal. I'm not going to wet my brush because I want to see how this works. As it is, oh my goodness, my brush is packed. There's so much product on the brush. Look at this. You guys see that? So I'm going to try to make this um you know graphic shape on my eye like this you know what i'm talking about you definitely know wow it is going everywhere so definitely you want to use a sticky base you guys see that like this is supposed to have a purplish kind of shift but i don't see it i uh, want to do the same on this eye but with the other shade so my eyes won't be matching but I'm not worried because I'm not going anywhere so I'm going to put this to the side for the moment so on this eye I said I'm going to use the NYX glitter primer and you definitely don't want to apply it too much because this will crease okay so just apply a thin layer the same brush from uh, Wet n Wild but a clean one and I'm going to go with this one. As I said, it looks kind of brownish, not gonna lie. Let's see. Oh yeah, this definitely works better like it's sticking. It's not flying anywhere, like where you lay this down is staying there, okay? So this is nice. They also recommend to use a glitter primer, whatever that is called. So yeah, if you want to use concealer, I think it's fine. Like, do what you gotta do. But I think it's best to use a type of glitter glue primer, whatever, because it's a little bit more sticky and I feel like it will help to last longer. You guys see the shift? Yeah, you can kind of see the purple in there. This looks beautiful. I can definitely see this flying on my forehead. Anyway, I'm going to put this one to the side as well. And next I'm going to use this silverish color. I don't know why it says golden silver when it's like pure silver. And I think I want to apply it on this eye with the NYX Glitter Primer. My jaw just dropped. You guys see that? What? You guys... This is so freaking beautiful. Oh my goodness, this looks like glitter, but it is not glitter. It's a glitter-like pigment. Right? I don't know how to describe it. Uh, on this eye, I'm going to try the liquid one. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. And with a flat brush, I'm going to apply it on my eye. This color is so freaking beautiful, you guys. I hope it gives you a little bit of time so you can manage this. Keep in mind that I have the concealer on this eye. Uh, yeah, this is again more like a topper, but I don't really like this liquid one because it looks patchy, like the color is not even, the pigment is not really there. I would totally use this as a eyeshadow topper because just using it like this, it looks patchy. I mean, I hope you can see that on camera, right? It looks patchy, like the, the pigmentation is not even... I will apply a little bit more, but it dries fast, so keep that in mind. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you to go straight on your eyes with this applicator because uh, you can get a lot of product and yeah, it, yeah, it's hard to manage. I don't know what this reminds me of. What this reminds me of. Oh my goodness, yes. How is that called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This reminds me of the Stila. 
like very similar but Stila is way more glittery, way more shiny. It looks different but it kind of reminds me of this. Anyway, I hope this is not confusing. Also very similar to the BH Cosmetics eye lights. Anyway, so I'm going to apply just a little bit more so I can build this up. Uh, the color is stunning, okay? Don't get me wrong, but I would totally use this as a eyeshadow topper, like on top of this. Let's see how that goes. You see? Wow! You guys see that? I feel like the camera doesn't fix it. Yeah, you can't really build this. It still looks a little bit wonky. If you guys want to get this, use it as an eyeshadow topper. I mean, on my hand, it looks freaking beautiful when the light hits. On camera, not as much. And it's a little bit sticky. Like, it doesn't dry completely. You guys see that? Wait a second. Like, look at that. Look at my lid. Oh, you see that? And it also transfers and it gets patchy. As I said, I'm going to take the Kaima Cosmetics Glitter... I don't know how to call this. Glitter mixer, whatever. I'm going to take one tiny drop or maybe half a drop of this. Oh, so sticky. And mix it with this. This looks like liquid silver. So beautiful. Okay, you guys, so it looks like this. So I'm going to take a tiny little brush, a detail brush like this, and I'm going to try to apply this, you know, to kind of fix the situation and see how that goes. Wow. You guys, I'm hearing a clock, like an old ass clock. I don't know if my mic picks that, but I, I hear it. What's going on? Whose clock is that? You guys hear the clock? Like, am I getting crazy? I'm hearing a clock. Like that old table clock, round like this. This one is absolutely beautiful, wet and dry. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, as I said. Oh my goodness, this brush is so confusing. For my brain. Get this one, you guys. I was on TikTok earlier today and it was this person playing a game. You have to pick the correct sentence or correct image. And I know this is so controversial at this... Controversial? 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 <laughs> I don't know how to say that. At this point, I mean, I know how to say it. Controversial. It sounds weird. Uh, at this point, and I know... Uh, there's mixed opinion and um, about this, but it said mirror mirror on the wall and the other one was magic mirror on the wall and in my reality is uh, Mirror mirror on the wall like I never heard of the magic mirror on the wall Let me know. How is it in your reality? Like I remember as being a child child. Oh my god, my brain left me. I remember as being a child it always was mirror, mirror on the wall. I feel like we live in different realities because in my reality, it always was mirror, mirror on the wall. And uh, think about this, like translated in different languages, like I'm Romanian and this translated in Romanian 
is Oglinda Oglinjoara, which translates to mirror mirror on the wall. I never heard of the magic mirror on the wall. I don't know how it's like in other languages, but I want to believe it's like mirror mirror on the wall. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been thinking about this like the whole day and I was like, no, in Romanian is mirror mirror in the on the wall. Do you believe in Mandela effect? I feel like it's not real. It's definitely made up by someone very powerful that wants to play with our brains. Let me know how is it in your reality. Are we living in the same reality? Isn't this so fucked up when you think about it? Like, And even the person in the video uh, went for the mirror mirror on the wall and it was wrong. It was... <laughs> Back to the video, you guys. <laughs> Back to the makeup. So I tried to cover this with the silver pigment and this liquid eyeshadow is still tacky. And when I'm opening my eyes wide like this, my lids are sticking. Like this is sticking to each other. You see that? Even my brush is sticking. So yeah, you see that? Uh, I feel like you can also use this as an eyeshadow base for your glitters or shimmers. That would work. Anyway, so this is the makeup that I created today. Um, what can I say? I'm mad, okay? I am mad because I had to pay this much for only four eyeshadows. Um they i don't know honestly they didn't deliver what it says on their website like this looks brown it's supposed to look goldenish brown no, not brown i'm sorry goldenish orangey purplish type of color like it's supposed to have multiple color shift and i'm only seeing brown and a little bit of pinkish purple when I'm looking this way this one looks beautiful I love the color I don't know why it was a little bit patchy when I used I mean I don't know why it's a little bit patchy when I used this wet as I said on camera you can see that I don't know why it's because I don't know but I see I see the patches right here I don't want to sound like a liar but it looks patchy right here at the end I mean, if you live in the UK and you want to try them, definitely go and try them because they are beautiful, not gonna lie. They are beautiful, but if you live outside of UK, think about shipping taxes, uh, custom fees, all that. You have to pay for like what? Four eyeshadows? It's not even worth it. Uh, as I said, there's definitely more brands out there with similar products, so that's that so yeah i tried their products so you don't have to even though they look beautiful like don't get me wrong i feel like their products are a little bit overpriced okay that's all i'm going to say if you guys uh, have other opinions about their products if you guys even heard about this brand just let me know down below i am curious to hear your thoughts uh what do you think what do you think is it worth it like I don't know let me know what you think and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please subscribe if you haven't already take care and i will see you in my next one i guess bye guys